Hello, this is Nick with nccsites.com. Today we're going to be demonstrating how to use an Airport Extreme in an external hard drive and make that a time capsule. So let's get started. The first thing I'd like to show you is by clicking the Select Disk under Time Machine Preferences, you'll see that I have no drives connected to my machine. From there, what we're going to want to do is go click Finder and Airport Extreme. As you can see, I'm not connected to my Airport Extreme, but I do have a 500 gig Western Digital plugged in through the USB port of the Airport Extreme. That makes that uh, 500 gig hard drive a network drive. So we're going to click Connect As, and I'm going to enter in my password here. And once that's entered, I am now connected to my Airport Extreme, and I can now access my network drive. I've renamed my 500 gig Western Digital Time Capsule. And if I double click this time capsule, you can see it'll show up on my desktop now. There we go. And the time capsule shows the iMac sparse bundle and the MacBook Pro sparse bundle. So my network drive, my 500 gig network drive, has now become my time machine backup for both my iMac and my MacBook Pro. So we're going to click this and eject because we do not need that showing up on the desktop. So, what we're going to do now is collect, select Airport Extreme, connect as, type in the password again, and as you can see here under select disk, it's still not there, but I am able to go up to Time Machine Backup and make a backup. What's actually going to show up here on my desktop is the sparse bundle opening, and it's going to be named Time Machine Backup. So it takes a few seconds longer due to the fact that it is a network backup. But with ne network backups, instead of having to unplug your external hard drive and plug it into your laptop or other devices at a later time, it's real simple by just setting it up through the Airport Extreme so it'll back up both machines instead of just one. So it's going to do its backup. It's finished its backup. And as you can see here, I select drives and there's nothing there. So how do you set this up for the initial setup? It's simple. Once you've connected to your Airport Extreme, you're going to see your, your external hard drive here. In my case, the one that I renamed is Time Capsule. I'll double click the folder and it will show up on the desktop. Once it's showed up on the desktop, you can actually click Select Disks and see it up here. My 500 gig Western Digital renamed as Time Capsule on Airport Extreme. So from here, I can actually click Use for Backup. Since I've already done that, I'm not going to click that again. But once that's been set up to use as backup, Time Machine knows that even known it is a network drive, it's connected to the machine. So we can go up here to backup now, and it's going to backup using that 500 gig hard drive on the Airport Extreme. Again, it's going to make up the backup disk available, so it's going to be opening up that sparse bundle and making another backup. There it is. And the actual 500 gig hard drive itself right here does not need to be connected anymore. So before I eject this, I'm going to let this finish out. i go ahead and eject that. But we're still connected to the Airport Extreme. Actually, we weren't. Here we go. So go ahead and make that connection. And as you can see, as long as we're connected to the uh, Airport Extreme, we can make the backups. And again, it's a network drive. And Time Machine knows it's a network drive, so it's not going to show up here in the list. Give it a second, and it will make this drive available, and there we go. This has been Nick with nccsites.com, and this is how to use the Airport Extreme and an external hard drive and turn them into a time capsule. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.